Hey, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever time zone you're in in the world. I am going to be talking about some Medicare claims and if you are denied a claim, how to fight it. And um, that's what we're going to talk about in this video. And I do not think Medicare is all over the world. I think it's just mainly the U.S. I'm not sure. Correct me if I'm wrong. I don't know a lot about international health care. I might in the future. But right now I don't know. So this is what we're going to talk about today. If you've been denied a Advantage claim, how to fight it. So stay tuned on this video. All right. We're talking about if a Medicare Advantage plan denies you coverage for medically necessary care. You want to file an appeal and your odds are good the plan will overturn the decision. So that's the message for consumers in a government report examining payment denials and Medicare Advantage plans, which are offered by private insurers and often combine basic Medicare benefits with drug, dental, vision coverage in one single package. So looking at appeals filed by Advantage enrollees and healthcare providers between 2014 and 16, the U.S. Department of Health and Services Office of Inspector General found that the plans overturned 75% of their denials. The high number of overturned denials raises concerns with some Medicare Advantage beneficiaries that were denied payments. So enrollees and providers appeal 1% of the denials but the Inspector General found that some beneficiaries may be going without needed service for their care. So this is becoming a, a major problem. So uh, patients' plans, denials have become broader per percussions. If a provider is denied a payment, they might need certain services. So... Inappropriate denials are a growing concern at the Medicare Advantage plan beneficiaries' soars, and Advantage plans had more than 26 million enrollees in 2021. This is up from 11 million in 2011. Because the government gives Advantage plans added flexibility, allowing them to offer supplemental benefits not covered by traditional Medicare. I'm eventually going to try and sell Medicare, by the way. I'm going to talk about it in another video. This is going to be one of my next ventures. And I'm going to try and become a, an insurance agent. So all of this stuff is pretty interesting to me uh, because I'd be studying it. But unlike traditional Medicare beneficiaries, Advantage plan enrollees looking to limit their costs must stay within their network of providers, typically need referrals, Medicare Advantage plans are committed to providing quality, affordability, and appropriate care. And um, this is from the Health Insurance Industry Group. They can often, um, there can often be a request for additional information for a claim to move it to an alternative treatment that's more effective. So Helping Hands helps with the appeals process that can be overwhelming particularly for patients who are sick or frail. So some of the places you can go are your, let me see if I wrote this down here. Here we go, right here. Your state health insurance assistant programs. I'm going to leave this up for a minute while I'm talking. So the Advantage plan beneficiaries should read their denial services or notices. They should understand their rights to appeal and file appeals promptly. Patient advocates say the denial notices that plan they plan to send out to enrollees aren't always clear. Um, in 2015, audits by the Centers for Medicare and Medicaid Services found that 45% of Advantage plans sent um, denial letters with incomplete or incorrect information, according to an Inspector General report. So you need to follow the instructions on the denial notice to make your appeal. You can ask your doctor to write a letter explaining why you need the care, understand the timeline to make your claim. And these things that I'm listing up here, these organizations can also help you if you don't have nobody to help you. If you are older, you're frail, and um, hopefully you will get this YouTube video will pop up for you. 
um, maybe to help you in that situation. The plan must then make a decision within 30 days if it's denying a service that you haven't received or 60 days if it's refusing to pay for a service that you have already received. If your health could be harmed by waiting for the standard appeal to play out, request an expedited appeal, which requires a decision within 72 hours. Um, so legal aid offices, okay? We got the MedicareRights.org, um, and we got state health insurance assistant programs, wherever, whatever state you're in. So if your appeal is rejected, uh, you still have three more levels of appeals. And if you need financial assistance, if you need help because you are a senior citizen and you are frail, um, whatever the case may be, you don't have a lot of help. You don't have family to help you. You can go to any of these, any of these organizations and they will help you fight a denied Medicare, um, Medicare Advantage or regular Medicare claim. Hopefully this was helpful to somebody. And on our next video, we will talk about, what are we going to talk about on my next video? A ladder of annuities or the Secure Act, one of these, okay? Or maybe both, I don't know. So I'll see you on the next video, everybody.